Okay, so one app that I've been playing around with this uh, week on my iPad costs 99 cents, and it's um, Battleship. It's the classic Battleship game from Electronic Arts. Now, there are, there are other Battleship games. I haven't tried them, but this is, uh, this is by Electronic Arts, which is a major, major game uh, maker for electronic games. And it's only 99 cents, and I guess it came out on June 23rd, but it was recently updated. And I bought it. It's only 99 cents, and it's very cool. Uh, one thing that's really cool is that if you have two iPads, you can play, you know, with two iPads head to head, which is sort of like the classic iPad game. So, anyways, so let me let me give you a little sort of look see at what it looks like. It's very cool. It's got good sound, and again, it's only 99 cents, and um, uh, I guess it also plays on the iPhone, but um, you know it also plays on the iPad. It's uh, it's geared for the iPad. It's a universal app. Okay, so this is what the Battleship game looks like. When you open it, you get this menu. You've got you've got actually four different modes. One mode is classic, where you just basically have a simple gun and you take one shot at a time. Another mode is salvo right here, uh, and in salvo mode, you can um, <clears throat> you can um, like shoot many shots at the same time. And in super weapon mode, you get all sorts of crazy super weapons that you can use. So it's kind of cool. The visuals are pretty good. It's like the old game Battleship, but one killer feature is you've got multiplayer role, and in multiplayer role you can um, play on another iOS device. So you could play iPad to iPad, or you could play iPad to iPhone, or iPhone to iPhone. And I tested it out, and it works with the iPhone. Now you can play on a Wi-Fi network. That's probably the best way. You can play side by side. I'm not sure what that method is. And you can play Bluetooth. In other words, that they're uh, connected. Now what does it say here for side by side? Oh, I think you side by side you you pass it back and forth to the um, the other person. So um, so let's say you don't have an iOS device with side by side. Like I would take a shot, then I'd hand it to you, and it would switch screens, and you would take a shot. But the coolest is the concept of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, because you could be on the other side of the room, like the old days with you know with Battleship. You could be, um, you know, you'd each have your separate side of the board. You wouldn't see the other side. But here you could be on the other side of the table. It's very cool, you know. So I've tested the, the Wi-Fi version, and uh, I haven't tested the Bluetooth. But it's very cool. The sounds are cool. It's, and it's only 99, um, 99 cents. Now in settings, uh, you can uh, change. You can shut the sound off. You can put the sound back on. You can have hidden targets. Um, you can have cutscenes. I guess that's after you hit something, it shows like the missile hitting your boat. That's kind of cool. So, cutscenes is a very cool uh, thing. Flips, split screens. Uh, oh, I guess that flips it so that you're by default uh, the computer. If you're playing the computer's on the left and you're on the right, and I guess that can. Um, that can flip it and also there's something called edit names and if you want to edit your names right now the names are Lex, me and player two so um, overall I, I'd say if you're into board games my kids like it I've played with uh, my kids and it's very cool that you can play on multiple uh, like two iOS devices at the same time okay so let me show you what it looks like when you play Okay, so you get this graphic, and so first, you're on the left, your ships are on the left, and you can uh, reposition them just like in the game. Now, if you want to make it vertical, you just tap it, and it goes vertical, and you're sort of placing them. You're trying to hide them. You can, um, like again, if you tap it, it goes vertical. So then you, you deploy them. So this is the classic game, and then you click OK, and then you're playing against the computer. So here I'm playing against the computer. So on the right screen is your target. So I'm trying to hit the computer's screens. And if you look at the bottom right here, there are five ships on either side. Big ships, subs, destroyers, other kind of ships. So you have to sink all the enemy fleet, the five ships, before they get onto you, and you, you um, and, 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 until they hit you. 
So the way you play is you pick a square, and you can either launch the thing by just double tapping on it, or clicking the big red button on the left. So then you get this graphic that shows you um, where you hit, and if you miss, you get a little white ball, which means a white pin. Now here, the computer hit my aircraft carrier, and I have the graphic on, like the little visual cut cutaways. So um, I can just sort of randomly hit, and I can use the launcher. I can place my, you know, where I'm going to shoot, and press the launcher. And um, there it goes. There goes a rocket, and I missed. When you hit, you see a little more smoke, and uh, you see something a little underneath the water, and that's the giveaway. Now, the computer is sort of onto my, um, onto my, um, um, onto my um, aircraft carrier. But let me show you quickly another mode. Okay, so let me, uh, let me select salvo mode. And uh, here we go. And in salvo mode, again, I'm going to you know, arrange my ships and click OK. And in salvo mode, you can just shoot more, more rockets at the same time. So here I'm going to position it. And you see, it's going to... Um, Hold on, I gotta select. Oh, I gotta select five targets. So I'm 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 set, selecting five targets, and then firing, and then boom, you get five missiles going up, and I think I hit something. See, it hit one of the carriers. Now I have a red pin, and so now the computer is gonna shoot, and it's gonna it, well, it hit two of my um, two of my boats. So the game really speeds up with this um, salvo mode. It's very um, it's very cool. Uh, so let me show you the, the third mode. Okay, so the third mode is the super weapons mode. And I already have a game in, in progress, so let's see how that's going. So in the super, uh, super weapons mode, you have different weapons. Right now, though, the only weapon I can use is just the regular rocket. But let's start a new game. Uh, so let's go back to super weapons, new game. And when you start off the new game, um, you can pick what weapons you want to use. Now, I think you have to earn your way up to more powerful weapons. So at the beginning, um, let's say you've got the shield weapon, which creates a force field technology field that deflects the first hit on each ship. You've got the chain gun mode, which you've got a helicopter gun platform that cuts through five C squares. You've got decoys, electronic decoys, that give a false ship indication to enemy when hit and it can be revealed by sinking the false ship or hitting the real ship and you've got things like airstrike a line of three spaced explosive hits dropped from a bomber and I haven't totally figured out how they kick in it seems like you have to hit a few ships before some of these kick in you've got frag bombs here let's uh, drag frag bombs over here and let's get rid of the decoy and use the airplane too okay so let's start the battle now if you see if you pick shields you've got shields over your um, over your boats so that's pretty cool I'm just gonna leave them move them around a little bit and uh, there you go and so what happens with the shield is if the bomb hits a boat with the shield the first time it hits uh, it doesn't you know damage the boat but they know that there's a boat there so they'll come after you next time so let's just see how this sort of works out at the beginning, even though I have multiple weapons, I can still only use the just the single shooting gun. But eventually, you get freed up. You, you free up your other weapons. So overall, you know, this is a cool mode. So uh, overall, it's thumbs up from me on um, this very cool game.